Good morning. Sarah Jansen welcoming you to another Wednesday morning devotional. As the sun rises over Bueller, a new day is dawning. Today we're going to be talking about finding joy and peace in the midst of fear and uncertainty. This new day brings with it beauty, hope, and a fresh new start. We can choose how we face the day. Isaiah 26, 3, one of my favorite verses says, You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Today I'm going to be sharing some of the simple things that bring me joy and peace. Those of you who know me well know that I like birds. I have bird feeders in the front yard, bird feeders in the backyard, and the birds come there year-round. I'm reminded of the verse in Matthew that says, Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? This is reassuring in these times when we're all feeling a little bit stressed and worried. Just think what it would be like if we stepped out the door in the morning and there were no birds singing. How extremely quiet that would be. God has given us these creatures to listen to, to enjoy, to look at their beauty. I have some short videos that I want to share. There's way more birds than what I have here. Some of them, like a cardinal, I was not able to get a recording of, and I just love those. You'll have to excuse the rooster noise in the background. I don't know how to turn him off. So I hope you'll enjoy this little bit of what I would like to share. What you're hearing and seeing here are purple martins. I have two martin houses, the gourds over there and the little other house. These are members of the swallow family and they like to live in houses that are put up for them by people. Try to get them flying if I can. They set their wings and just glide and soar. They eat in the air rather than on the ground. And they eat gobs of insects, of a wide variety of insects, from dragonflies to wasps, flies, beetles, mosquitoes, whatever they find flying around up there. And I have them right here by my garden. And I'm hoping that they eat lots and lots of my bugs. Their song isn't particularly musical, but I love hearing them in the morning. They just sound so exuberant, ecstatic. It's contagious. You can't help but feel joyful when you hear this. Of course, when I stop talking, they're not going to do it. That's them. Anyway, I'm thrilled to have them at my place. Ralph is letting out his racing homers, pigeons. And we're not sure <laughs> how well this will... Oh, there they go. I'll try to follow them. I said to him, what should I say about your bird? He said, tell them God created these birds and they can fly 40 miles an hour 
and they can return from a 500 mile race in one day. These birds like to fly in a group. So after they're let out, it takes them a little while to form the group and then they do a lot of swooping and just really seem to enjoy flying. This is a goldfinch at the thistle feeder. Beautiful with the contrasting yellow and black of his feathers. This time of year, flowers are also a source of joy. I don't have as big of flower gardens as some, but I do have a few and I'll put those up here for you to enjoy. Also reminds me of the Bible verse similar to the one about the birds. Matthew 6:28. And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If you really look at a flower close up, it's just awesome to see the colors and the construction and the beauty. So I hope you will enjoy these few pictures. Psalm 65.8 says, In the farthest corners of the earth, the glorious acts of God shall startle everyone. The dawn and the sunset shout for joy. And I have a wonderful picture of a sunset that happened just the other night. I want you to enjoy that. Music and joy go hand in hand. So many verses in the Bible call us to sing and shout for joy. Psalm 67, 4 says, Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. Psalm 71, 23, My lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you. If you need to pick me up, play some uplifting music. Your heart can't help but respond. As I leave you, listen to Beethoven's great song of joy, the great hymn, Joyful, joyful, we adore thee.